Former lawmaker Steve Nunn lost his freedom for the rest of his life yesterday when he pleaded guilty to shooting and killing his former fiance Amanda Ross. But according to Kentucky statutes, the admitted murderer will continue to receive his state pension to the tune of about $30,000 a year. It's 18's Kristen Flum. Is here with more. Well, Kevin, I don't have to tell you, in an era of stretched budgets and people all over the Commonwealth dealing with being unemployed, it's not sitting well with a lot of Kentuckians. So why is none entitled to the money? We went on special assignment to find out. Just a few years ago, Steve Nunn was a Deputy Secretary of Health and Human Services. He was a Republican representative and one-time candidate for governor. Part of the famed Nunn family, son of former Governor Louis B. Nunn, by all accounts, the 62-year-old had dedicated himself to Kentucky government and was set up to retire comfortably for his services. Now, just 24 hours after admitting murder, controversy about whether he should be entitled. You would ask about the uh, this particular provision in the law applying to anybody else, and I'm not aware of anybody. In 1993, following Operation Bop Trot, where several legislators were convicted of accepting bribes to support horse racing legislation, lawmakers changed the statute about convicted felons receiving pension. It stated you'd lose it if your conviction involved your official duties. And that's where Nunn's case is different. You have the intention of uh, creating a loophole for, some, for someone to get through based on murder, it just worked out that way. But that could change. It's an issue worth looking into. Representative Mike Cherry oversees Kentucky Retirement Services. Let's find out what other states do, see if there's any other categories, any other uh, uh, ways of looking at uh, circumstances where individuals might lose uh, their retirement. Of course, the legislature writes the laws. In theory, a judge could rule differently. Until then... That's his money. He can yeah. I candy bars and uh, all the smokes and who knows whatever else uh, contraband might be available. Uh, he's looking at a, about a $30,000 a year pension for life. I also checked with the Department of Corrections today who said that once Steve Nunn is assigned to prison, he'll be allowed to spend $100 a week in the inmate commissary. There he could buy any number of things priced similarly to what you find in a convenience store. Coming back to you.